Rock Fat here. All right, guys, another day in the jungle. All right, this is Memorial Day weekend, and I know we're supposed to be looking at our 54 Bel Air two door hardtop and getting a front end up underneath it, but I kind of ran into a little hiccup. Uh, I got the car into the garage on Thursday. Friday morning, I started working on the rear end uh, spring purchase, uh, shackles and everything. I already showed you guys that. Well, then my insurance company called and they wanted me to bring the car over so that they could get some pictures of the interior with the dash in it and everything. Because the only pictures they had of it was with none of that in there. So I decided I wanted to take the car instead of just taking pictures here and emailing them or whatever to them. I decided, well, let me just drive the car down there. The car runs. It's got plates, you know, all that's legal. So I drove down there and the car didn't seem like it was running all that great. Uh, we've only had that one drive around the block one time. So the car wasn't running that good. I made it down there. It started back up. I'm on my way back and lo and behold, it leaves me stranded on the side of the road. So, you know, of course, you don't have anything to try to diagnose what the problem is. I did know that, that there wasn't seem to be any fuel in the float bowl of the carburetor. So that was it, one problem. Uh, but it, when I was driving, it felt more like an ignition problem than it felt like a fuel problem, meaning that it would just cut off. Like it was that you reach up there and hit the switch and then it'd fire back up. So I'm still not 100% sure. So I had to wait for a buddy of mine to show up. Uh, my record driver was on the other side of Houston. You know, that's two to three hour wait for him to get back. Couldn't find a record driver that was close enough to give me a tow. So my buddy, I got him to come by and he was in his mom's car. He let me have his car and I came over here, got my truck and a rope and a screwdriver so I could take out those, uh, both the front grills. So I get a rope and long story short, I was literally, well, Highway 3 is right there. Beltway 8 is right there. I was literally right over there. So we just had to get, no, not very far. So we got the car and I towed it back over here and you know, never fails. By the time you get it back to the shop, it fires up and runs. So the way that it was acting with it kind of bucking and it, it just, to me, truthfully, it still feels like, it's, it feels like an ignition problem. So I grabbed another one of my old distributors and I pulled out the ignition module because this one is some off-brand wells that I've never heard of. So maybe that's the problem. So I replaced the ignition module and said, okay, well, it's Friday night. Let's go down to the car show and check out the car show, which is literally like maybe a mile and a half down the road from me. So about six o'clock Friday evening, after, you know, sitting on the side of the road and messing with it, cooling off in the air conditioning, taking a shower and all that. I decide I'm going to drive down to the car show. I drive down to the car show and, uh, man, I pulled rumbling in, you know, thumping and a rumping and back my car into the parking spot and it shuts off on me. Son of a bitch. Won't restart. Well, I didn't even try it at that point. You know, I didn't want to look like a total fool, right? So... Seen one of my buddies up there, we hung out for a while, everybody's hanging out. Come about 8, 8.30, everybody's packing up and going home. And I go try to start the car and it won't start. Cranks, but won't start. Crank, 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 crank. And you know the feeling? Son of a bitch. So, I call my buddy with the tow truck. An hour later, he shows up over there and guess what? The car fired right up. What the hell? So I get it back in here and then we were thinking that possibly I'm getting a vapor lock because 
the fuel line well let me reroute that this was the was sandwiched in between both the heater lines hoses so yesterday I went and I got some sheathing and I put over it and moved one of the heater hoses off of it took a long screwdriver and bent the fuel line up a little bit so that it's not a, touching the heater hose and I decided I was gonna go out and drive it again I probably made it about three miles and it started acting up again so what the hell so I got back over here let it cool off for a little while and okay well there's got to be something wrong because I got no fuel in the float bowl it's bone dry so I guess my brand new fuel pump that was put on this car five years ago but has no miles on it it's so I, I pulled the line loose right here and I hooked up a vacuum gauge to it and that needle is sucking and pushing sucking and pushing sucking and pushing sucking and pushing so the check ball inside this fuel pump is stuck that's why I'm losing fuel pressure is because the check ball is pushing the fuel back it's just sitting there cycling it back and forth and none's coming up the pipe into the carburetor at this point so the car can't go anywhere until I put another fuel pump on it but truth of the matter is I really don't think that's all that's wrong with the car right now I really 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 think I still got an issue inside my core my my distributor just because of, it just feels like there's something going on inside there where it's kind of shutting off and I'm beginning to wonder if I don't think it's the coil itself they usually go out and they stay out for a while they don't really buck but I'm kind of wondering if the reason why that distributor was sitting on the shelf was maybe it might have a bad pickup coil in it and that's causing it to get hot and then start losing fire intermittently but I don't know man maybe next week I'll get a chance to work on it but right now I'm supposed to be working on the 54 and I occupied a little bit of my time by scratching my head on what the hell's going on with my vet because I finally want to go drive this car and huh, now it's leaving me on the side of the road anyway guys there's the situation on the vet y'all keep rocking and rolling and rolling and rocking and I'll keep grinding it down talk to y'all next time